Welcome to What to Expect When We're Inspecting. I'm Randy and this is Adam. Today we're here to do an inspection on a third car garage edition. We'll be looking at framing, strap, shear, and roof deck nailing. And remember, have your approved plans and permits on site before you call the inspection. So during this inspection, we're gonna be looking at the stud size, the spacing of the studs. How are we looking, Randy? 16, it looks good. Great. We're also gonna look at the foundation and how it's tied to the walls. These anchor bolts hold the wall down to the foundation. We're also gonna be looking for straps, metal straps. We want those everywhere where wood meets wood, so we wanna make sure everything's connected properly. So the other thing we wanna look for is the straps at the top of the wall, making sure that the roof is connected to the wall with the metal straps. So the whole point of the strap inspection is to make sure that the entire building is tied together, from the roof to the walls to the foundation, so that in a windstorm, the building couldn't pull apart. Now we're gonna do a shear inspection. Shear is what keeps the building from racking and leaning in the wind. And you might have noticed that the lath is already installed. That's this chicken wire that holds the stucco to the wall. We did the inspection last week. Uh, normally you don't see this, but what we did during the inspection was we made sure all of that plywood is nailed off properly. Then on the inside of the building in this design, they're gonna have drywall or gypsum along this wall. We'll check that nailing whenever we do the gypsum inspection. The two trusses you see above you are nailed together making a girder. Originally that was planned to be over here with the beam, but when it was built, it was actually put in the center of the room. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, but we need that documented on the plan. So you're gonna wanna go back to the city, put it on the plan so the inspector knows that it's correct. The four inspections we did today were not complete, but they were the most common things that'll stop your project. And remember, have your approved plans and permits on site. And if you're gonna make changes to those plans, you wanna come down to the city and get those on the plan so the inspector knows what to look for. For Adam and Randy, we'll see you next time.